everyone to this edition of Welcome everyone to this month's Astro Coloscope. My name's Elizabeth Harper. My website is sealedwithlove.com. Happy New Year to you. 2016 is going to be an amazing year for all of us. Now we're starting out the year with all the planets direct, which is incredible. This means that this is a fabulous time to set your intentions, to start something new, to create something amazing, especially especially if you are connected with your own business and it's coming from your heart. This is very much a heart-based year. So I would like to share just a couple of other things with you. On the 5th of January, Mercury turns retrograde. And of course, this happens all the time, doesn't it? It's between the 5th and the 25th that it's retrograde. And you know, there's a sense with this, of course, about communication and going inside and communicating with yourself. Well, on the 7th, Jupiter turns retrograde as well. And, you know, that is in Virgo. And Virgo is about your health and your well-being, your nutrition, etc. And I feel like those two planetary energies are connecting with you, with all of us, looking at our health, looking at how we can really bring our body into uh, into an optimum level this year and our energy into an optimum level as well there's a really strong sense of that with those two planetary energies and i feel as well that those two planetary energies are going to help you to go inside to really formulate a plan for your abundance this year for how you want your year to look how you want it to be filled with blessings, everything that you want, your heart's desires. Venus is direct the whole year. So love can really come into your life in all kinds of different forms at this time. So let's get started on the different astrological signs and which crystals have come up for you. Remember, you can check out your star sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign, and just put those energies together, get a sense of what feels right for you, and let me know in the comments how the messages resonate for you. And please share this if you enjoy the Astro Coloscope. Let your friends in on the, in on the uh, video as well. All right. Libra, your stone is bronzite. So bronzite has, of course, this bronze kind of color. It's brown and it has some sort of gold little pieces that go through it. So brown is a grounding stone. It helps you to be in this present moment. So what this does is it tells you that it's okay if you want to just be in this present moment and not think about moving forward or think about healing the past or or take action anywhere that it's okay for you to just be so this is a great month even though you wouldn't think it with this stone with brown this is a great month for you to meditate for you to take a retreat for you to look after yourself not necessarily about loving yourself although this is very much about nurturing this is about taking time for yourself and not beating yourself up about not doing the washing or not making the bed or not trying to get another job. It, there is a sense with this that you need to look at the most important things in your life and the most important thing right now is you. This stone also helps you to pinpoint the right actions, the right choices, the right decisions. So when you come into yourself, when you're grounded, when you are at peace with yourself, it makes it much easier for you to make those decisions, those really important decisions that are in your life, are around you all the time. I'm feeling with this as well that it's not writing that's important, that there's something else around writing that I feel like it's about really getting a good sense of how you want your life to look over this next year and to take time to maybe write goals down so that then you can 
send out energy to those goals and that energy can come back to you in this kind of static state so that then you get an idea of how you can move forward. So hopefully that makes sense. Scorpio, your stone is Mangano Calcite. I love Mangano Calcite. I love every stone. But Mangano Calcite has this, it's, it's almost like you want to keep holding it and keep rubbing it and keep touching it. It's so soft. It's pink and it's white and of course it connects with love, it connects with angels, empathy, forgiveness. It also opens you up to receive and to heal the heart as well as you can imagine any pink stone would do that. So it really gets to the core of your being. So with this, I feel like it's a great relationship stone for you this month. Relationships are going to be key. Relationship with yourself, relationship with your family, with love partners. If you're not in a relationship, this is saying that you are opening up to receive the most amazing relationship or opening up to receive something that is beautiful within a relationship you're already in. So lots of love that's coming in for you this month, certainly with this stone. I feel with this as well that you need to watch, because pink is a vulnerable color, that you need to watch your health, not because there's something drastically wrong, but it's more about being susceptible to colds, to flu, to sinus troubles etc because these link with the heart so there's going to be some stuff that's coming up from your heart to be cleansed and so what might happen is that you could just get some unrequited love some tears that have been stuffed down there and that can manifest as something like a cold so just watch for that and nurture yourself take care of yourself make sure you have lots of vitamin c etc one last thing with this, I feel that there's a piece of jewelry that's going to be very important for you that either you find you haven't found in a long time or you just, you're just given or you buy, you know, it, it's like this, it's almost like you haven't seen this for a long time or you've never seen it before. That's the sense of it. But whatever it is, it's going to be very important for you and it's going to make you feel, I don't know, it just feels like you're saying, oh. Isn't that lovely? That's the sense of it for me. Sagittarius, your stone is a Dalmatian stone, Dalmatian jasper. So it looks like a Dalmatian, doesn't it? It's kind of black and white, but it's sort of beige. And you know, with this, it, it's very much about it's very much about lots of thoughts, lots of things going on in your mind, especially as it's beige, it has a kind of golden yellow color, which is linked to the intelligence, with the intellect, with thought. So with the black energy, it's like you're opening up all these things, like opening up lots of drawers in your mind. Let's do this, let's do that, let's do the other. So there's a, there's a lot of stuff that's going on right now. So you need to, it's not downsize so much as focus on what is the most important thing for, you, for your next step, for the next thing for you to do. It's just about focus. So this is also about transmuting old worn out patterns because of course it has these little dots in it. So it's like connect the dots and then get rid of any pattern that is going to prevent you from moving towards success, moving towards the relationship what you want, moving towards abundance, etc. So release the patterns so that you can move into your power. There's also with this, it's saying that if you've been tired and worn out, then the energy is coming in so that you can be stronger. It's almost like your energy is starting to become more vibrant. That's the sense of, that's the sense of that, you know, for me with this. I also feel one last thing with this, that the written word is going to be very important. So there's a message that's coming that will help you at your lowest point. So it could be a message from a friend or it could be a quote that you see on somewhere like Facebook. Whatever it is, it's words and those words have power for you this month. Capricorn, your stone is Amatrine. So Amatrine is 
amethyst and citrine connected together. So they're they kind of opposite each other on the color wheel with violet and yellow opposite each other. So some part of the stone is is very much about wanting to go forward, wanting to be out there, wanting to be seen, but at the same time it's sort of oh, you know, I don't want my privacy taken away with me from me. I don't want everyone to know who I truly am. So there's some kind of conflict that's going on with this about being seen, not being seen, being accepted, not being accepted, etc. And it could be also about relationships, you know, I want to be in a relationship, no, I don't want to be in a relationship. So something's going on around conflict for you this month. Also, this is a stone of creativity and inspiration. So this is a good time to write, paint, create music or do something that is creative for you doesn't make any difference what it is if it feels creative for you this is this is saying move forward with that there is a sense here as well about de-stressing yourself especially with the violet so use that violet energy around your auric field and meditate with it that will help you to de-stress this month Aquarius, your stone is Iolite. This is kind of interesting because it's known as a water sapphire and of course your your sign has that image of a person that is with a cup, with a bowl, with a, a vase pouring out water. So I feel with this because you're not a water sign and this is not a sapphire that it, it's almost like you are trying to find yourself within maybe a company or maybe a group or or maybe a, a title you're trying to identify yourself this month for who you truly are who are you really so there's a sense of just trying to find your identity this month with the iolite because it's an indigo stone it connects to vision so it's about having a vision expressing yourself really knowing who you are and where you want to go, the direction you want to take. There's a lot of that this month, of course, because it's the beginning of the year. This says that you are freeing up some part of your belief system, some part of your life, so that you can step in to this new identity. It's just a case of finding that identity, who you truly are. One final thing with this is that you know, as you are finding yourself, as you are finding that identity, let go of what you think other people think of you. Let go of, of expectations of how you will be perceived. Most important is for you to connect with what is true for you and go with that. Pisces, your stone is morganite so this beautiful pink it almost looks like a wing doesn't it and that morganite connects to connects to angels and it's it connects to divine love because of course it's pink so this takes your ability to love to a higher level so I feel that this month this is very much about letting go of what you don't love letting go of any old love letting go of anything that doesn't reflect love in your being so letting go of jealousy letting go of pain letting go of grief all of it is about moving into this place of unconditional love this has a kind of a an, a, a translucent opaqueness at the same time so there is a sense of this is just part of the journey that you are releasing letting go cleansing moving into this new level of love and it's not always easy to do it, but I feel that it's really important for you to do it so that you can move into this new dimension, into this new way that you've been searching for, that you've been seeking. I also feel that you're going to start moving with a new crowd of people that connect to love, that connect to loving you. There is a, a feeling with this particular energy of you, because of that love, there's a lot more abundance that's going to be coming into your life on lots of different levels. Yay! <laughs> Okay, that's 
it. Hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and let me know in the comments below if the messages resonated for you. You can also grab my free color kit if you hit the subscribe button at the top. You'll get my love letter that's weekly with articles and lots of other interesting information as well. If you want to find out when my next video is uploaded, I have them twice a week. Connect with me on my channel. Just subscribe to my YouTube channel. I offer services. I offer different consultations. You can find out more about those on my website, sealedwithlove.com. I will see you soon. Lots of color wishes, blessings to you. Bye.